I'm using Acru. I rolled it out real thin. And I'm going to go ahead and use some pumpkin pie spice on our Acru. It's only going to be on the one side. And I'm going to try to make sure I leave some on the surface there. And I'm going to use my clay roller. I have a bottle cap and it has a hole in it. I made that with a little puncher tool that I bought when I bought the bottle caps. Now, if you don't have circle cutters like I do, you can go ahead and lay your cap or whatever you're going to be using on the clay and cut around it. If you do have circle cutters, you could use those. I'm basically just trying to display that you don't have to have all the tools I have in order to make the items I make. And then, at this point, I start pressing inwards. But you could see the clay coming out to the edges. I'm going to locate where the hole is and pop it right out there. After I bake it, we'll be back. I have about three quarters translucent, one quarter white. And these are going to be my apples. And you want it a little bit more elongated than, um, than really a half dome. Because the shape of an apple isn't, you know, exactly round like a ball. I take some red pastel and some deep purple. And then I mix a little bit of the purple into the red. Paint the whole outside. Going to paint it all the way to the sides. Um, in the bottom of my description box I might go ahead and link a couple of real recipes that show you how to make real apple roses um, with a few kitchen youtubers. I'm going to take very thin slices. So there we go. I'm going to start layering my little fake apple slices here and I'm doing them about halfway what I'm going to do is pinch the inside of the corner and depending on if you're left or right handed you can do this either way you could roll from left to right or right to left but either way you roll And this isn't supposed to look like a rose from the garden. This is supposed to look like an apple rose. So I know that as I'm rolling them around here, I don't have the edges out. What I mean by the edges out is I don't have the petals folded outwards like a traditional rose. Or if you want one with one. You roll that one in immediately. So there we go. A little tiny rosette. So I'm going to make several roses and bake them up. Then we'll come back and we will make the custard for our tart. So this is my translucent liquid Sculpey. And I'm putting a good amount in. My Patreon followers at the $9 and $15 levels are going to be getting one of these tarts each in their next surprise package. I want to add a little bit of white first. Um, the reason I'm adding the white is because I want to make sure that the little custard color that we're creating is not going to be clearish. I want it to be opaque like a true custard. It's not clear like a soup. Now, um, a way around this, if you don't have powdered food colorings, is you can condition some small pale yellow clay and mix that up. I like the color of ivory in it, and then the color of buttercup. I got all three of these from um, Global Sugar Arts, and once I think I have about the right color, then we will fill a pie shell. And I'm going to add it 
to my little custard tin with my toothpick. And then I'm going to slice the bottom off the rose. And don't worry, this won't kill your rose because our rose has already been baked. So I have it a little bit shorter. So now I'm going to take the other roses I want to add and chop the back off them too. I'm going to slide that one in here and just kind of position them around in the direction that you want. And have some space between the roses. When you code to put your roses in wet, it's not a big deal. They don't have to be baked in order to put them in. So see, you could fill in any gaps with small tiny roses. We just continue along, filling it in. And there we go. And then you could decide how many little roses, how many big roses you want. Put a head pin in the hole that we created. I'm going to see if I can position it under an app, uh, apple rose. And so we're going to bake it like that. So it came out of the oven. And I'm putting a tiny bit of glaze just where I see the custard. I'm not going to risk gooping it on the roses.